Hi there, my name is Allison Khan, and boy have I got a story for you guys. So this one starts a little while back. For those of you who don't know, I work at Starbucks as a barista, and I've worked there for three years now. I got hired right out of high school at this little cafe down the street from my high school. And I worked there for a good while, for about a year. And then we were told, hey, guess what? You guys are turning into a drive through which was great, really exciting. But that meant that we all had to go out and be trained on how to do the drive through stuff because we were just a cafe. So we only knew the little cafe routines. So I got sent to a store all the way on the other side of town. I got sent to a store uh, in Sand Canyon, trained there for a good while. And I really liked it there. I really liked the people. I really liked... The manager and they were like hey you know if you want to if you want to stick around you can stay like you don't even have to go back to your store i went back to my store and i helped them open the drive through helped them open from cafe to drive through and that transition was really hard i'm not gonna lie it was really difficult and things just became really disorganized and kind of chaotic and it was, it was just really tough and really difficult. And rather than sticking it out, I called up San Canaan and was like, yo, will you guys take me back? And they were like, yeah, 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 we'll take you, we'll take you. So I talked to my parents about it and was like, hey, I think I'm gonna go over to San Canyon, really like that place. And they were like, you sure? That's the best thing. You know, you live not in Canyon country, not even near the store. It's on the other side of town for you. you I'm not sure that's the best idea, but I up and, and left and um, despite what my parents said, I, I went to the other store and I worked there for about a year and a half and it started off okay and I quickly realized that I had made a mistake. <laughs> not that it was horrible, it was just a lot more high stress because it was a bigger volume store and it just got really chaotic and really draining all the time and really demanding. And so I just didn't know if I could keep up with it, but I was like, well, I'm in this deep, you know, might as well stick it out. But I also am going to school to become a teacher. And uh, as a part of like the credential process, you have to have a certain amount of hours in the classroom. And so I contacted a teacher of mine and was like, hey, um, is there any way I could come and observe your classroom, you know, take some notes as a part of, you know, this application process and she she was very gracious and opened up her classroom to me and was like, yeah, definitely come on down. So I realized that I couldn't be going from Sand Canyon on the other side of town to Saugus High School, you know, I couldn't be going back and forth, it would just be too much and all this disarray, all this just a lot of driving and <laughs> it just seemed too stressful. And and so at the beginning of August, I told my old manager, I was like, hey, um, I think I wanna go back to my old store. And by the end of that month, I was back in my old store and I'm still, I'm still there. I'm still at um, the Starbucks on Urbandale. If you live in Santa Clarita, pop on by, love to say hi. <laughs> um, anyway, so, I got back to that store and it was pretty easy transition. And you're probably thinking, why in the world is that a tell me something good? That just seems really random. And it's a tell me something good because I know that every step of the way that God was in it, even when I ignored <laughs> my parents' counsel, which is another lesson in itself, don't ignore godly counsel when it presents itself to you, but even when I ignored <laughs> counsel and made my own decision, I know that despite that decision, God was still with me. And God made it possible to quickly transition back to that store and be in a, in a comfortable position now and to be close to where I live and close to where I'm observing classrooms and all that stuff. And and so it's just been a really amazing process. It's been a tiring process, but I know that God is with me every step of the way. And I guess that's my encouragement to you guys is that no matter what you do, one, don't ignore godly counsel, but two, that God is with you every step of the way in everything you do, in every waking moment, even when you go to work and you don't think that he's with you, he's always there, always with you, always alongside you. 
So that's it. That's all I got for Tell Me Something Good. Yeah.